Hi, I'm Eric Roberts. I'm now professor of computer science at Stanford University. But in 1980, I became professor of computer science, assistant professor here at Wellesley. It was my first teaching job. And I applied deliberately to the women's colleges in Massachusetts because in my graduate studies at Harvard in the 1970s, almost all the students around me in computer science were men. But most of the people that I worked with politically were active in the feminist movement. And I thought that the differences in opportunities that those two groups had was unfair and needed to be remedied. So I wrote to the deans of the women's colleges that weren't advertising for positions and talked about this vision of putting together a computer science program. And I came to Wellesley and two years later we had established the computer science program. And it was growing at a fantastic rate because people were so interested in the field. Um, we doubled pretty much every year. You have to remember, though, that this was so early in the history of computer science. Uh, the Macintosh came out after I left, so we didn't have any of the graphical user interfaces we know and love today. And Wellesley was still not on a computer network when I uh, left to go to California. And that time is just so hard for those of us who live in this internet age, the digital natives that we all are today, or you all are, to imagine. But it was an exciting time. And one of the things that I remember so well about the program is that by training more women in computer science, we were able to graduate people who would go out to graduate school or into the industry and have a noticeable impact. You could measure statistically the change in the percentage of women working in the IT and computing workforce because of the existence of the Wellesley Computer Science Department. One of my first students, Amy Pearl, went on to get a master's degree in computer science at Stanford and then to work as one of the leads on the Java project. Um, and there's so many stories just like that that are repeated again and again throughout the history of computer science in Wellesley. So this week, as we gather for the 32nd, nice round two to the fifth anniversary of the establishment of the program, I'm here to share my memories and we would like to invite you to share your memories of those early years at Wellesley. So if you have them, please send email to the address that you see on the screen. Thanks. <laughs>